Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm creating a series of videos to teach you how to solve Ken Ken puzzles. Ken Ken's are number puzzles that use all four arithmetic operations to fill in each box of the puzzle. We are going to do a five by five puzzle. These are the steps I take. Step one, write the numbers one through five at the bottom of the puzzle. This is an easy way for me to remember what numbers could go in each box. Step two, fill in any freebies. In this puzzle, there are two freebies, this one and this one. So I'm just going to write them in. Step three, fill in all of the two possibility cages. I call those cages locked cages. 12 times is a locked cage. It's only three times four. I don't know the order yet, so I'm just going to write the notes. Three plus also always is a locked cage. It's always one and two. I don't know the order yet, so I write the notes. Ten times is two and five. I don't know the order yet, so I write the notes. Four minus is only five minus one, so I'm going to write one and five in the notes. And four minus again over here, one and five. So now I'm going to look at if the freebies affect these locked cages. So there's a one here, which means that this can't be a one. So it has to be a five. If this is a five, then this is a one. Looking over here, there's a one here. So this can't be a one, it has to be a five. And if that's a five, then this is a one. If this is a one, then this can't be a one, it must be a two. And if that's a two, then this is a one. If this is a two, then this can't be a two, so it's a five. And if that's a five, then this is a two. Now it's time for step four. In a five by five puzzle, be aware of any multiplication cages that end in a zero or five. Those cages will contain a five because the numbers are multiples of five. So 10 times has to have a five, it's five times two. 40 has to have a five, so one of these three boxes has to be a five. 40 divided by five is eight. Two times four is eight. So these three boxes have to be two, four, or five. So I'm going to write that in the notes. There's already a five here, so neither of these two boxes can be a five. So I'll cross that out. That means that this box has to be a five because there has to be a, a five in one of these three boxes. Also, there's a two right here, so this can't be a two, it has to be a four. And if this is a four, then this is a two. And right here, if this is a four, then this can't be a four, it must be a three. And if that's a three, then this is a four. Now it's time for step five. Fill in the remaining cages, staying aware of the lock cages. So now I'm going to look at this column. I see one, two, four, and five. So this box has to be a three because all of the numbers one through five have to be in every column and row. If this is a three, then this has to be a two or a four because four minus three equals one and three minus two equals one. There's already a two in this column, so this can't be a two, which means that it must be a four. Now I can finish this column. I see one, two, four, and five, so this box has to be a three. If this box is a three, then this box again has to be a two or a four, four minus three or three minus two. There's already a two in this row, so this can't be a two, it must be a four. Now I'm going to look at two division. In a five by five, the only options are one, two, or four, because it's either four divided by two equals two, or two divided by one equals two. There's already a one in this column, so I'm going to cross them out. And there's already a two in this row, so I'm going to cross out the two, which means that this box is a four. If this box is a four, then this box is a two. Now I can complete the column. I see one, two, four, and five, so this box has to be a three. For one minus, this box has to be a two or a four, four minus three or three minus two. There's already a four in this column, so I'm going to cross out the four and this box has to be a two. Now I'm going to look at these two rows to finish the puzzle. 
I see a one, two, four, and five, so this box has to be a three. And in this row, I see one, two, three, four, so this box is a five, which works out because five minus three equals two. And now we've completed the puzzle. A reminder from Sophie. Sophie says, if a target number in a multiplication cage ends in zero or five, there must be a five in the cage. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of one way to solve this puzzle. You can find more puzzles at www.kenkenpuzzle.com.